Thank you for inviting me, and it's good to be here. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful garden that lay in the heart of a great kingdom. And in the cool of the evening, the master of the garden would go and walk through the garden. Of all the inhabitants of the garden, the most beloved was the beautiful bamboo tree. Bamboo was tall and stately and grew more glorious every year. Then one day, the master of the garden came to Bamboo and said, Oh, Bamboo, how I love you. I want to use you to help me. Bamboo was ecstatic because finally the time had come when it would learn its meaning and its purpose. And, and Bamboo, in all of its excitement, answered the master of the garden and said, Oh, master, use me as you so desire. And the master of the garden said, I will use you, Bamboo. I will cut you down. <gasps> Bamboo shook with horror and said, Oh, no, master, cut, cut, cut me down. Oh, no, 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 master. No, no, you, uh, use me for your joy. But please, don't cut me down. And the master of the garden said, But Bamboo, if I, if I don't cut you, I can't use you in my plan. The garden was silent. Wind held its breath. Bamboo drooped. His tall, proud crown. And Bamboo said to the master of the garden, Master, if you cannot use me except you cut me down, And do what you must do. The master of the garden answered Bamboo and said, Bamboo, my beloved Bamboo, I will cut you down, but I must also cut your leaves and your branches from you too. Bamboo again shook with horror and said, Oh no, master, not that. Oh, lay me down and, 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 and lay my beauty in the, in the earth. But don't take my leaves and my branches too. And the master of the garden said, but Bamboo, if I don't cut off your leaves and your branches, I can't use you. And once more, Bamboo whispered, then master, cut away. And the master of the garden quick, was quick to say, Bamboo, my beloved Bamboo, there is still more that I must ask of you. Why, I must split you in two and cut out your center. If I don't cut you so, I can't use you. This time, Bamboo drooped down to the ground, and he said to the master of the garden, said, Master, if you can't use me except you cut me and strip me, split me and empty me, then do what you must do. So the master of the garden cut down his beloved Bamboo. He hacked off the branches, split him in two and cut out its center. And then the master of the garden picked up the broken pieces of his beloved bamboo and carried him to a stream where there was fresh sparkling water running near the master's dry fields. And there the master lay down his beloved bamboo, one part of his body in the spring itself and the other in an irrigation channel in the dry fields. And soon, clear, sparkling water flowed across Bamboo's body. After the field was all flooded, rice was planted. After days went by, weeks in time, there was a harvest. And in that time, Bamboo, who had once stood so tall and beautiful in the master's garden, was even more glorious in his brokenness. For now he was not only a source of beauty, but a source of life and blessing for many others in the master's garden. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem for that final Passover meal, 
He called his 12 disciples aside and said to them, We are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priest and to the teachers of the law. They will condemn him to death and turn him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. On the third day, he will be raised again to life. It was the third time that he had said this to them. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus along with her sons and kneeling down asked a favor of him. And Jesus said to her, what is it that you want? She said, grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. And Jesus said to them, you don't know what you're asking. Can, can you drink from the cup that I'm going to drink? We, we can, they answered. And Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup. But to sit at my right or my left is not mine to grant. For these places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. Now, when the other ten heard of this, they were indignant with the two brothers. Jesus called them together. And he said to them, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them and that their high officials exercise authority over them. But not so with you. Instead, whoever would be first among you must be your servant. Whoever would be greatest among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. <laughs> 